be making basics. What's going on guys, it's Ever J Music. In this video, we're gonna be talking about music theory basics in reference to producing music in Logic Pro 10, all right? So, as you can see here, I have a keyboard up here so we can kind of see notes, and I also have this piano roll so we can make it make sense when it comes to actually creating chord scales, things of that nature. Um, I'm not gonna make this too simple. I mean, you already are familiar with what a piano is. You understand that they have black keys and white keys and things of that nature, so we're not gonna go there. And most people are already familiar with notes, okay? What the notes are, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay? Pretty simple stuff. What I wanted to talk about in this video mainly is half steps and whole steps, and then a simple formula you can use to make any major chord on the keyboard or any minor chord on the keyboard, all right? So let's talk about a half step and then we'll talk about a whole step. So starting right here at C, okay? Let's say we start here at C. Going up a half step is just whatever note is directly next to the note that you're starting. So if we're starting at C, the note that's very uh, directly next to the note would be this C sharp if I go up a half step. You see how it's right next to it? Um, if vice versa, if I go down a half step, it's the note that's right directly next to it, um, going down one. So this is C. If we go down a half step, it will be going down to B. Now a whole step is just two half steps. So not to be confused, you know, because sometimes people will play a, uh, you know, let's say they're getting confused when you see two white notes together. So like for instance, if you were going to play a whole step from E, it wouldn't be F, it would actually be F sharp because uh, a whole step is two half steps. So you go one half step and then another half step to make a whole step. All right, vice versa over here, see what the B. Okay, that's how you make whole steps and half steps. Now let's talk about the actual formula in order to make a major chord, okay? Let's use the example of creating a C major chord. Now C, when it comes to creating chords, you have a root note and then you have two other notes that's gonna complete the chord. So if we're doing a C chord, the root note would start with C, okay? So C right here. Now how to complete the major uh, chord is by doing two whole steps, okay, from the root note first to make the other note. So if I go up two half steps to make one whole step, boom, there you go, that's one note, and then go up again, there you go. To complete that chord, okay, we're talking about a major, you're gonna go up a whole step and then a half step. So those two half steps to make a whole step and then uh, another half step, whole step. Now I'm gonna actually show you right here on uh, the piano roll, cause it makes more sense. Cause you know, we like to draw in our notes. According to making music in Logic Pro 10, you're gonna hold down command to draw in the notes. So if we start with C, that will be our root note. We'll go up two whole steps. That's one whole step. That's two whole steps. There you go. And then from this note, to complete that chord, we're gonna go up a whole step and a half step. So from here, that's a whole step and then a half step. All right, simple enough. That's how you make um, major chords. Now, if you wanted to make a minor chord, it's actually just the opposite formula. So instead of going up two whole steps, you're going to go up a whole step and a half step and then go up two whole steps. So let me kind of break that down. We'll show it to you here. So for minor chords, you're going up a whole step and then a half step. So from C, that's a whole step, then a half step. And then from there, you're going up two whole steps. So from here, that's a whole step. 
and that's a, half, a whole step. And then that's our, our minor chord. Okay, so the cool thing about this is this will work anywhere on the keyboard. So say if I wanted to play an F chord, all I'm going to do here, let's say a F minor or whatever, or a G minor, let's say G minor. Okay. We're going to do the same process here. We'll start with the G as a root note. We'll go up if we're doing a minor chord. Remember, it's going to be a whole step and a half step and then two whole steps. So we'll go up with a whole step and then a half step. That will be our second note from the root. And then we're going to go up two whole steps from here. One, two, one, two. And that will complete our chord. All right. Vice versa, if we wanted to do a G major, okay, we'll start with the root note, go up two whole steps. So one, two, that's one whole step. One, two, that will be our second note here. Then we'll go up a whole step and a half step. One, two, that's a whole step and then a half step. There's our major chord. Now, this is a cool formula because you can use it to create your own, you know, chords, melodies, different things like that, especially drawing it in here. So I can come over here, bring that down to make a minor. I can I can repeat this by copying and pasting it, you know what I mean? Then I can sound things out, like say if I want to come down a little bit. So this is the root note. Say if I want to do that chord for the second half of this uh this little part right here, right? So now I can say, all right, I'm going to do a minor chord on this F. I can come over here. And then what do we do? We're going to go what? A whole step, one, two, and a half step. We're going to go what? Two whole steps, one, two, one, two. And then we can just copy this and paste this too. Command C, Command V, here we go. And then you can do cool things like come over here and drag this over by holding down Option. And now you have a whole little chord pattern, if you will, right there. Cool thing about this is because we know this middle note is e either a half step up or half step down here, we can change this into a major chord easily. Just click on this right here, that middle note, and then move it up a half step, and now this is a, a major chord. Vice versa, we could do that same thing here. Click there, move it up, it's a major chord now. Now these are just the basics. Obviously there's more chords than a three note chord and things of that nature, but this will definitely help you get started when it comes to creating beats and creating chords and scales and melodies and different things like that. One other thing I'm going to show you is this basically when it comes to scales or creating like something different with these chords. There's something in piano or music theory called arpeggiating a, uh, a chord. And this is basically where instead of playing all the notes together, you're going to move them around in the grid. So, for instance, let's delete this. We'll go ahead and take this middle note down a half step to make this minor. And so if I was going to pay, play an arpeggiated chord, uh, instead of playing all the notes together, I will move these notes around on the grid. So 
still a C chord or whatever, still playing the same notes, but now it's arpeggiated. Holding down option, dragging. So basically with this knowledge, now you can go in on the keyboard and create say any type of minor chord you want. And then once you got those three notes, you could pretty much move the notes around on the keyboard in the grid here, wherever you want. And it's going to sound, for the most part, on point. So, like, I could even come over here and move it like this, you know, as long as I'm typing those three notes. You know, you can move around the notes just to kind of play around with this if you want. Basically, you throw a beat behind that, and that can actually become a full-fledged, you know, track that an artist could rap over for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So these are some basics. These are some things to kind of get you started when it comes to creating melodies and when it comes to creating um, chords um, and even, you know, scales to a certain degree. Um, but um, I wouldn't say scales. I'll say just chords, chords and melodies. But, um, you know, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.